welcome back. It's Gina and I've got some journals from my friendship journal to share with you guys. I gave you a quick scan a while back, uh, I don't know, maybe it was last week, uh, that I had completed these. And so now I thought, well, I'm probably going to have to do this in two goes. I don't know, we'll see how it gets on, but I just wanted to get go inside and let you see now that they're done. Now they're not completely done because I still haven't got pockets um, added to any of them. So I've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Um, and the one up there holds two, so that's why somebody commented and said I'd only had twelve, but there are thirteen. It's just the one journal is holding um, two sections, or you know, two signatures. All right, so what I ended up doing, obviously these are decoupage. I'll sit those over, and I wanted to use some of my Tim Holtz fabrics before those were all gone because I'm nearly out of those, and um, I just love that material so much. So I wanted to capture, you know, bits of those because I don't know if I can get those anymore. So, okay, let's get going again. Um, I'm not going to pull things out. If you want to see that, go back through the, fin the friendship um, entries. And, and I pull everything out and take much more time. But because I've got so many to go through, um, I'm just going to go ahead and just uh, let you see how these came out and again I've still got to now come back I've still got a drawer full of stuff from Happy Mail and bits and pieces that I've gathered you know people have sent me little cards and things and I like to save all that because I'm super sentimental I mean honestly guys I'm probably going to have to be buried with with my journals because I just I'm so attached to things in particular if it's something that somebody has handmade for me um, it, it's like, okay, these babies are going with me to the grave. <laughs> so I've got to put, um, some pockets and I'll decide, you know, when I've got, probably be this winter when I've got a bit more time because I am in the garden a heck of a lot now. Um, and now that everybody's wanting some recipes doing, I see a whole nother series of, um, uh, of videos coming up. So yeah. But I'm just delighted with these. And I honestly, guys, I'm not joking. Almost every evening when I've kind of cleaned up, I pull these out. And um, I'll take one down when, you know, when we're watching TV. And I just go through them because it's just such a wonderful keepsake for me to, to read the little notes. And, um, and go back through because there's just so many great ideas in these. But I knew you guys have been uh, so patient waiting for me to get these together. It's just taken so long um, to finish. And then, like I said, I haven't had time to film it until today. So, just beautiful. I love it. And this, just like I said... Um, the covers, I probably, in all fairness, on the fabric ones, I don't think I'll be embellishing these just because they're going to be easier for me when I um, make my move back to the U.S. It's going to be easier for me to take, you know, and not have to worry about anything coming off. But the decoupage ones, I already see I'm going to want to um, spruce those up a bit. Love this this um, fabric. It's just so pretty. I tried to match everything up the best I could. Um, as I said to you, with the challenge, I did not want to set um, a theme or colors. I wanted everybody to to have the freedom to enter it with their own style because. Even though I'm not really grunge, or I don't think I am, although I think each day I'm getting closer and closer to it, um, I still appreciate that style. 
And so I wanted, I didn't want people to feel as though, well, I can't participate because Gina only likes pastels or, or a specific, you know, she's only vintage or shabby chic. I wanted, um, I wanted the entries to be varied because I really have an eclectic taste on, even though I can't do grunge, I, t I really appreciate, uh, those artists out there that can do it. It's fantastic. Same with the shabby chic. I don't consider myself full on shabby chic because it's a bit too foo foo for me. But I appreciate it and still think it's just beautiful. So, um, yeah, I just, uh, I absolutely love going through these. So much work. It's gone into every one of these pages. Hmm. Okay. Actually, I think we probably can go through all these in one, one take. Just, just so many beautiful elements. I love that. I love the maple. I do never tire of them, honestly, guys. I've been through them so many times, and it just, it's like every time you go through it, you find um, something new, and uh, it's just amazing. Such, I'm so glad I did uh, did it, and I'm so glad I had the, the amount of people participate that, that did. I was so surprised. This one's a chunky. Guess I should uh, <laughs> be careful with the uh, things like that. This one, I'm going to go back and add a couple of tiny buttons. So I've left the strings on that. Just everybody's style is just so different, but, but equally beautiful. So there is, is that one. I'll get it closed up because these will go back up as soon as I'm done filming.
Okay, so there we go. And then this one. Again, this is a uh, Tim Holtz fabric, and I just I wanted to go ahead and uh, make myself one of each of the patterns I still had left. Mm. Just beautiful. I absolutely love going through these. That eco dyeing is just amazing on that one. I should have mentioned uh, if you see your page and anything is missing. Um, some of the stuff I had to shift over and that's where they're going to go into the pockets. So um, everything is still there guys. It's just I've had to um, to make it work to, to sew in. I've, I've just had to go ahead and move some of the things around. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, and <clears throat> the last two I decoupage. As I said, these I'm definitely going to come through and probably add a little um, some fabric with an image just keeping it all, you know, not two-dimensional, but I do feel like it needs something. They're a little bit plain, but... Oh, that is beautiful. So much work. Just beautiful. I love that. It's got my because I love to play cards. Paul and I play cards almost. Well, we when the <coughs> lockdown started, we were playing almost every night. But now it's you know a couple times a week. Not very many card players left, I don't think. Our kids um, play. There's a couple of them that enjoy it more than the other two, but um, yeah, there's not a lot of card players left, which is very sad. I 
that's a beautiful page too. I love the blues. It's beautiful. Oh, those corals, isn't that pretty with the green? Very fresh and summery. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh. Okay, guys, I finally got around to, to sharing that with you because I knew you all wanted to see. And um, so, yes, I, I knew it was time to get on here and share those. So, again, thank you for all of you who participated. It was just such a wonderful experience. So, I appreciate it so much, guys. Thank you all for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you got any questions, leave in the comments below. Uh, you can check out the videos uh, named Friendship Journals Entries, and you can see in more detail each of those pages. So take care, guys. I will be back very soon. Bye.